They hear me roar. And now it's tonight. TBD brings the heat. The undeniable best of the West Coast wrestling scene returns with hard hitting action in TBD presents the Battle of Las Vegas. All bets are off as newcomer Psycho Sally continues to wreak havoc for TBD promoter Geneva Rose. Cole Quinn takes on fan favorite El Ordinario in a technical wrestling clinic. And in our main event, will ruthless challenger Odyssey Rift defeat the longest running champion in TBD history, the locker room leader and captain of her domain and in anything goes, Sure to be brutal, TBD rules match. Forget what you've seen. Throw the rule book out the window and brace yourself for non-stop hard-hitting action. This is TBD.
We weren't asking for your permission. Match was awesome. <laughs> Be careful, Sally. You'll give her a bigger head than she already has. So, flaming table again. Time tested. Crowd approved. Also, an insurance risk. Not to mention we've seen it before. But that was one hell of a main event. Way to rally the crowd afterwards, too. Well, I meant what I said. I told you when we founded this place that we could pull it off. Couldn't do any of it without you. Oh, I know. I'm very aware of how much time I spend doing paperwork to keep the lights on around here, so that you can go out there and break stuff. But you break stuff so cool, Cap. I just hope I can put on a match like that someday, and, and have that sort of confidence on the mic. A reason why you can't. You may be new around here, Psycho Sal, but you could be the future of TBD someday. <laughs> Heck, she could be the future of WWE tomorrow. Literally. Really, Sally? You're going to the WWE Vegas tryouts? You're not mad, are you? I do feel bad even thinking about leaving after everything you've done for me. After everything you've done for this whole locker room, really. There's a reason why we call you the captain around here. Who am I to stop you from pursuing an opportunity like that? I'm not mad. I'm excited for you. Huh. Even sounds like she means it. What's that mean? Let's just say that WWE is not exactly looking for people like me. They have a type. I'm good at doing my own thing. Different strokes, you know? They were literally looking for people exactly like you. Cap turned them down a few years back with some strong four-letter words. I respectfully declined WWE so you and I could start TBD together and work with all talent including those who don't fit their mold. Look, I have no ill will towards WWE. Going there just wasn't the right move. If that's the case, you'd have no problem coming with me to the tryout. Wait a second, this feels like a trap. Look, Sally needs a ride and we need new talent for TBD. WWE can't sign everyone from the tryouts, so you go, watch Sally's back, and you lurk. And if you walk away with some new names for us to reach out to, so be it. I could sure use the support. Obviously, I can't go as the boss of a rival promotion, but a top, technically free agent? Fine, I'll go with you to the WWE tryout. But don't expect me to like it. I wouldn't ask you to. Hooray! A-Town. Let's go! I can't believe they just let me walk right in here. It's a tryout, not the CIA. I can't believe I'm here at all. What's that they say in old movies? You got moxie, kid. And don't let my negative attitude about this place sway you. You could learn a lot from WWE. You got this. Are you really afraid of running the ropes? I thought you were a big shot college star. Yeah. I ran on a track. I didn't hurl my body into tight ropes. <laughs> tight ropes? Really? I don't get why they keep inviting so-called athletes to these things. WWE should focus on talent who actually know the business. Maybe you could focus on minding your own. Business, that is. <laughs> wow. Great comeback. You didn't seem worth the effort to come up with a better one. Wait, don't I know you? You're with TBD. They call you the captain over there, right? That's actually not my name, but if the reputation fits. You must get it then. We're not here to have our spot taken away by someone who's never even stepped in the ring before. 
If you're worried about losing your so-called spot to a rookie, you're probably in the wrong place. Are you really that insecure? <laughs> oh, I'll show you how insecure I am. Are you kidding me? Couldn't stop yourself from making trouble for even a moment, Cap? Uninvited and still somehow a thorn in my side. Ladies, ladies, we don't have time for shenanigans today. And that includes whatever beef anyone in this room, Shotzi included, might have with someone else from the independent circuit. My colleague, Mr. Regal, is right. We've got a busy schedule today to get all of you seen. Even those of you we weren't expecting to see. Yes, the curious question of our unexpected guest. Thank you, Justine. I'm not disappointed to see you, but I am confused. You've turned down our invitations in the past, but you show up today. What can I say? Circumstances change. I'm ready to give it a try. Yeah, she's super stoked to be here. Well, that's just fantastic. Everyone warm up. We'll get started soon. So, why are you really here? TBD scouting trip? Well, I... Respect. I really wasn't expecting to see you here today. What can I say? It was a last minute decision. And Regal and Justine don't seem to mind. Why do you? Are you really going to pretend you don't remember? How you refused to book me in TBD? First off, I don't do the booking. My business partner, Geneva Rose, handles all of that as promoter. And secondly, no, I don't remember that at all. TBD was the hottest emerging promotion, and there was never any room on the card for me because someone else was hogging all the attention as champion. Hogging attention as champion? You mean successfully and consistently defending my title? You say tomato. I say you're a selfish, overrated champion who I could have easily beaten if given the opportunity. I'm sure you told Geneva not to schedule the match. I can't speak for Geneva, but sounds like an honest mistake. I'm sure we would have loved to have you on TBD, even if you wouldn't have beaten me for the title. We can agree to disagree. What we can't disagree on, however, is that I'm the one in charge today. But since you're so talented, you won't mind the tryout match I just set up for you. What did you do? Just set up a match against those two other potential recruits. Since you had such an issue with them, felt right for you to take both of them on at the same time. A two-on-one handicap match? Sure, why not? Unless you want me to tell Regal and Justine it's a problem. It's no problem. I'm that good. Perfect. I look forward to evaluating your performance. Thanks for the help out there. Tight ropes. It must have sounded like an idiot. No problem. And hey, everyone starts somewhere. 
I didn't know about any of this stuff until I started watching and doing it and, well, learned all about this stuff. Uh, fair point. I just didn't want to pass up a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because I thought I wasn't prepared enough. Especially since the recruiter said they could train me in the basics. You did track in college? All conference. Set my fair share of records, too. Ever been in a fight? Does online count? <laughs> Probably not when you're in the ring against someone who has. But you'll figure it out. Good luck today. Taking on two other potential recruits at once. Quite a way to make an impression, but dare I say risky. I like risky. I respect it. But we'll find out soon enough if she can handle it. Don't hold your breath. She can't. Come on now, we don't have all day. Pretty exciting for a tryout. Pretend you're at a live show. We're an audience of hundreds. I remember what she was like in TBD. I didn't think it was possible to get worse at wrestling. Done. Fabulous maneuver. Excellent stamina. Be careful. They'll all think they're getting signed. Fear not. I am very selective. Don't hold back. Give them hell. Does this make you want to get back in the ring again? Seriously? Everything always makes me want to get back in the ring. Justine, we talked about this. Don't worry, I know my role. For now. Come on! I thought this was supposed to be easy for you, Cap. Definitely not jealous of the talent in the ring right now. Nope. Not jealous at all.
Was I this pathetic in my WWE tryout? Oh, more so, I should say. What? Ask stupid questions, get stupid answers. Ain't that the truth? We've got a good crop of women to choose from today, Regal. They're not all so great. I'm beginning to suspect you may have an opinion, Shotzi. TVD, two opponents, and you still wipe the floor with them. You're Psycho Sally, right? I saw your tape online. Don't get the psycho part, but we can work on that. And you're new enough that she probably hasn't ruined you by teaching you bad habits yet. Whatever grudge you have against me, don't take it out on Sally. She deserves this opportunity, not your snark. It's okay, Cap. I, I can take it. Even if I am also totally overwhelmed that one of my favorite WWE superstars knows who I am. So, did I pass your little challenge? Anyone can get lucky in one match. Luck? Cap's always great in the ring. I watch her almost set a woman on fire. Believe me, I miss some of the stuff I used to do in the indies more than anyone. But in WWE, we don't set people on fire on a whim. <laughs> on a whim? You should have seen the whole story, though. It was an epic culmination, a confrontation for the ages. Let's go, Sally. We're wasting our time talking to her. But, but I'm proud of what we do in TBD. Right, right. TBD is so unique. TBD is so different. So different that apparently it never had room for me. Honestly, still kind of weird you're holding on to that. You're proud of TBD? Then show us this crazy, unique TBD style you're all about. Let's see a no DQ match actually impress me. That won't be a problem. Against her. All due respect to Psycho, you and I both know that she's not ready to take me on in that kind of match, Shotzi. You don't want to fight me, Cap? You know it's not that. Hey, I gotta earn my Psycho Stripe sometime, right? Why not at a WWE tryout? At the crossroads of possibly the most important opportunity of my life. Yeah, why not? You heard her before. She can take it. Are you sure you're okay with this? Let's do it. Couldn't help but over here, perhaps a bit of bad blood between you and Shotzi? I guess so. Not what I was expecting coming here today. I wish she would put whatever issue she has behind us. I don't want to start a fight. Huh. Not exactly what your reputation is. But I guess that's in the ring. I'm a nuanced, multifaceted individual. Besides, what about your reputation, Justine? WWE champion and legend comes back only to screw with her niece? I gotta admit, I was surprised when they announced that you would be grooming the next generation of WWE talent at NXT. <laughs> I was surprised too. But they said they wanted someone who knows how to stand up for herself. Maybe you should consider that when dealing with Shotzi. <sighs> You're not wrong. Another word of advice? This match that Shotzi made for you against Sally... Don't hold back. Taking it easy on someone close to you won't do them any favors. Understood.
I can't believe you've convinced me to let this go forward, Shots. It's a tryout, right? Do you want to try them out or not? I'm a fan of Feet to the Fire as much as anyone, but I'm actually with the boss here. Although I'm still looking forward to the entertainment. Psycho's not doing too poorly for herself either. This is brutal. I can't look away. Honestly, I'm impressed with both of them. your money where your mouth is. I'm not impressed. most brutal tryouts I've ever been party to. matches from other talent besides Cap, right? Don't worry. We'll be here for hours today. I'll order a pizza. Who put weapons under the ring for a WWE tryout? in your dumb promotion TBD after all. If I didn't know better, I'd say Shotzi doesn't really feel that way. What? WWE superstars aren't always fully transparent with their feelings and emotions? Should have ordered more weapons, I suppose. TBD. I'd be happy to. Get in here. All I ever wanted was to take you on. <laughs> be my guest. We'll see how this ends. Ladies, ladies. This is unbecoming of a WWE tryout. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. 
Would be cooler to lay her out right now. Try it. No! There'll be none of that! At least not... without an audience. Don't I count? Shotzi, you're in need of a tune-up match before your title opportunity against Bianca Belair. And our guest today is the perfect local talent we're looking for to face you. She'll push you. A real challenge. She certainly fits the bill to be my punching bag. If you're amenable, I'd like to book you on the next Raw. As a local talent? You are local, right? Yeah. I'm no tune-up match, though. But for a chance to settle this with Shotzi, I'm in. Fantastic. Then it's settled. Hey, Miss Psycho. I'm impressed with your... What's the word? <laughs> Moxie? That's it. I'm signing you to NXT. <laughs> you won't regret it! <sighs> I can't believe you got into a fight, and that's how you get to debut on Raw. Very funny. I'm not debuting on Raw. I'm just having a match. They asked me here to wrestle, and that I can do. Tell that to the millions of people who will be watching you wrestle on Raw for the first time from their homes tonight. Even if this opportunity doesn't mean the same to you, don't waste it. Why do you think I brought tinfoil to take home the food from catering? I'm serious. So am I. Listen, I hear you, but I also know why I'm here. Local talent almost never win these matches, but I do intend to make an impression. Hey, watch where you're going. Excuse my oblivious friend. Wait a minute, TBD? Yeah? I've heard of that. Welcome to Raw. See? Making an impression already. Oh, whatever. Good luck out there tonight. You made it. Welcome to Raw. Thank you. I'm happy to be here and grateful for the opportunity. And we're happy to have you. Now that you've hopefully had time to get settled, the show's not too far off from starting. I suggest getting changed into your gear. <laughs> I'm ready. You are... wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> Not just any t-shirt. This very TBD t-shirt. Why? I'm proud to rep TBD. If I'm going to have this opportunity, I want to also support something I believe in and share it with a larger audience. I get it, and I respect your passion. Tell you what, just don't tell anyone else we've talked about this. I know there are some who would want me to make you change. Change? Me? <laughs> you don't know me that well. Right then. Good luck out there. Shotzi's opponent, who comes to WWE with a reputation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Portland, Oregon, the Rocker, Ari Elizabeth Price. I see she's repping a local promotion. Does her shirt say TBD? I know her. She's the captain. A bit of a legend on the indie circuit. I think she could give Shotzi some trouble tonight. We're 
TBD on whether this woman has what it takes to make it in WWE. Shotzi's opponent is looking pretty confident for her first time on Raw. Even though she hasn't been in WWE before, she's been in big matches all around the world. I don't think this stage is going to phase her one bit. I don't know. I respect what she's done before this, but nothing can compare to the bright lights of WWE. At some point in this match, it will play a factor. What now? Oh, a stop to the belly welly. That's how you wear down your opponent. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. From the top. Ooh that speed of Shotzi doesn't factor much when she gets shoved around like that. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Reversal on top of reversal. What is she thinking here? Hurricanrana! Kick! Oh! Oh, Shotzi manages to counter. It's an agonizing situation. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Nasty kick. Golly, incredible axe kick. Oh, to the arm, terrible. Got their opponent set up. Oh, drop kick to the spine. Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. She's got an answer for that. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Flipping backstabber. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. 
taking hold of Shotzi here. Can Shotzi come back from that? The cover! One, two. I can't believe it. When was the last time a local competitor beat a WWE superstar? I don't know, but it looks like Shotzi is just as bewildered as us. I think furious is the word you're looking for. Shotzi from behind, taking out her frustration. To the outside, coming our way. A loss like this could put Shotzi's title opportunity against Bianca Belair at risk. Shotzi is relentless, but there's a reversal. Setting Shotzi up for something big here. We gotta move. And down through the table. Talk about a raw debut. What the? Sorry about the table, boys. But Shotzi asked for more from Miss TBD, so she got it. Thanks for the mic, Byron. And by the way, watch our show! Well, that sure was something. For God's sake, hold on to your mic next time, Saxton. Wow, Byron, that's the most action you've seen in years. Wrestling has more than one royal thing. What the heck was that? We gotta go. Can't imagine the suits are gonna be too happy. Let's let this suit speak for himself, shall we? Damn. Of all the impulsive, unhinged disasters I've witnessed in my career, my dear, that had to be one of the most Excellent! Wait, what? You went out and defeated Shotzi. And then, when things went sideways, you kept your head, stood up for yourself, and made a memorable moment for everyone in the WWE Universe. Well done. So you'll still pay me then? You're not only getting paid. I'd like to offer you a full-time WWE Raw contract. With all due respect, I'm not sure if I'm the type of person you want working for you. You have a lot of assumptions about who we are and what we want. And, with all due respect, I'd suggest letting us decide those things for ourselves. I heard how people responded, and I'm telling you, WWE wants you. I truly appreciate the offer, sir, but I... Can we have a moment? I don't really think we need to... Just give us a second. Why not? I'm just in the middle of a live show and trying to offer you a life-changing opportunity. But please, take your time. That wasn't you about to tell William Regal no to a WWE contract. Wait, is this you telling me to say yes to William Regal in a WWE contract? Why wouldn't you sign? Everything we've built together with TBD, our mission, you know how much it means to me. I don't want to abandon TBD, and I don't want to abandon you. TBD isn't going anywhere. You think I'm gonna let our momentum stop just because you get to go to the bigs? No way! Give it a chance. You hate it here, you come back home. But don't say no to the adventure. I mean, it is kind of cool that Regal recognizes what I bring to the table. And that was only one match. You did that with what everyone assumed would be a quick victory for Shotzi. And you don't think this is selling out? Remember when we decided to start TBD? Of course I do. As much as I wish I could forget that show, that promoter had such a narrow vision of what wrestling should be. And we sat down at that diner and decided if we ever started a promotion, we would let all kinds of people with all types of ideas get in the ring and fight, literally, for their vision. 
Yeah, we were very idealistic before we had to pay bills. <laughs> Remember those contracts we signed with each other on those diner napkins? But we did follow through on all of those plans. Aside from coming up with a name besides TBD, of course. My point is, we had a mission. Still do. And now, you're getting a very real chance to take your vision to a company that has more reach than anyone else. You really want to make a difference and change this industry into what you think it could be? You can't say no. Guess I have to find Regal and tell them yes then. I'll let you get to it. Just don't big time us when you come home to visit, okay? <laughs> no promises. There she is, the so-called captain, who came out of nowhere to defeat Shotzi and earn a raw contract. Came out of nowhere for you, maybe, but anyone who's been paying attention to the independent wrestling scene knows this woman has been a champion and a cornerstone of the promotion known as TBD for quite some time. WWE and Raw are lucky to have her. Hello, hello! Welcome to Raw! Big fan, big fan. Really? Oh, everyone on the team is a long-time admirer. Ever since we got word last week. It's a quick pivot to squeeze you in, but we're used to things changing fast around here. Not a problem at all. Didn't think it would be? I'm Troy Simkin. Yep, I'm that guy. I'm sure you've heard the more established superstars mention their favorite WWE producer. I don't think I have. Hmm. Are you not mingling with your peers? That's kind of a must-do around here. Actually, we have several handy documents outlining all the unwritten do's and don'ts. Doesn't that make them written? But before we get sidetracked, what I was getting at is we already have a few ideas of how to use you. Oh, we'll be in touch. Do you maybe want to talk about some of the things I've been thinking, or am interested in doing? Like I said, get settled. We're working on some ideas. Gotta run. Later, Cat. They actually call me Cap. Huh. Could've sworn it was Cat. Oh well. We'll see where we land with the name. What are you doing here? Working raw too now? Nah, just in the neighborhood. But since I am here, anything I can help you with? Happy to walk you through how things work around here. I'd appreciate that. There's no shame in admitting that while I know what I'm doing in the ring, the backstage politics of this place are a bit intimidating. <laughs> That's a feature, not a flaw. But honestly, it's probably the same as you're used to at any indie event. Use the time before any show to change your gear and level up your skills. And most importantly, don't forget to check your social media and talk to people backstage. That's pretty much how all opportunities around here come about. Makes sense. Is that it? Pretty much. Check your social media and talk to people and you'll find yourself in matches and rivalries in no time. Just remember that once you agree to do something, you'll have to see it through before you can turn your focus to something else. Copy that. Thanks, Justine. No problem. Good luck, Superstar. Ah, I see. 
Another superstar is desperate to sit underneath my hallowed learning tree. Why would you say that? Well, you're still new around here, and you clearly don't fit in. Pretty early to make that assessment, don't you think? That's not the point! You know what you need? Advice from someone who's not you? Exposure! I, of course, benefit from not only being multi-talented in all areas of my life, but from being the hottest talk show host in all of WWE with my show, Ding Dong Hello. Now, being on a show like that will get you exposure. Do you want me to come on Ding Dong Hello, Bailey? <laughs> of course not, you dummy. I only book stars, not desperate newbies. Everyone wants to be on my show. It's very competitive. Then what are we doing here, Bailey? Patience, sapling. I was getting to that. Like I was saying, superstars are very competitive for press. And if you wanted exposure, I heard the bump is booking the winner of an upcoming Fatal 4-Way. Then I should try to get in that Fatal 4-Way. You may be annoying, but you do have a point. I'll talk to Regal. Wow. Original idea. Thanks for letting me know your detailed plans. It's Chelsea. Commanding the ring and forging her path. The captain! Is a fatal four way match. Make your way to the ring from Portland, Oregon. The Rocker, Ari Elizabeth Price. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. It's time for Indy Cred to be put to the test. Meachin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. And her opponent, first representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meachin! You know, guys, what I like about Meachin is that she isn't afraid to stand up against the injustice here in WWE. Or you can call it standing up. I call it sticking her nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong. Well, we know she just loves getting in people's faces, and maybe, just maybe, she'll get in your face, Corey. Here comes Raquel. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. 
few can contend with the unbridled strength of Raquel Rodriguez. Plenty of hard work maintaining this unbelievable physique. And then she puts it to work in the ring to devastating effect. One of the most decorated superstars in WWE history. Here comes Natalia from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia! Carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment, Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. You know, we've seen Natalya's confidence shaken a few times as of late. She's had some tough roadblocks in her path. If I know Natty, she's laser focused on smashing through the obstacles and regaining that confidence. Four great competitors all vying for a chance to be on the bump to talk to Byron. Wait, that goes to the winner of this match? Hey, they get to talk to Caleb Braxton, too. Well, sit back and enjoy the only time in your life women will fight for your attention, Saxton. Be shooting through that leg now. Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Real barrel. Two! It's still hanging on. No celebrations yet. Raquel beats her to the punch. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Pump kick on target. And she had Natalia's number there. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. Indeed! Contact quickly! The cover! Running interference. Oh, man! And she dives out nicely. She could pin her opponent right here. She kicks out with authority. Not yet. Oh, man. STO takedown. From behind. Back suplex. She's starting to look concerned. Yeah, the is building a way to take out the competition. to pull that off. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Sidewalk slam. Indeed. Nasty kick. An agile escape. Ball straight forward. And now we have Natalia. Boom. we are seeing on display here. Over the top backstabber. Setting foot in the ring now. Not so fast. American Rodder. Great. Agility like that. Easier said than done, gentlemen. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. She shook it to cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Tracks. Elbow 
throw, saying, not today. And did you hear the impact of that? Scooped up. Uh-oh. Oh, saw it coming. That dog can buy Raquel time. Nice, they don't need to wake you up or knock you out. Planning on what to do next. Trying to fight their way out of harm's way. Elbows to the jump. Impressive reversal there. Into the corner. This can't be good. Respect can be tasted in their mouth. Kendo stick to the score. Oh. Return fire from Meacham. Ducking out of trouble. She's into the ring again. Oh, shocking inside cradle. Small package. This could be it. And she breaks the count. Wow, I thought for sure that was it. That their opponent set up. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. Ooh. Congrats on your victory tonight. I'd love to have you on the bump this week, if you're free. I'd love to be on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Of course, we're excited too. If I'm being honest, Raquel Rodriguez was the strong favorite to win, but it'll actually be great to get a different perspective from someone new to WWE. I can certainly offer that. So what do you want to talk about? We can tailor the conversation to whatever you think the WWE Universe wants to hear about. It'll be great for them to get a chance to know you. I'd love to talk about my goals in WWE. It would be a great way to get the WWE Universe behind what I want to do. Sounds great. Can't wait.
We're happy to bring in someone new to the bump who's getting some momentum with her win in a fatal four-way last week on Raw. If you don't know her, you soon will. She told me I could call her this. The Cap. Thanks for having me. Just to get this out of the way, I want to point out that you have your own mic today. No need to steal mine. Jeez, fine. I get it. Have you two actually had a chance to talk since your infamous Raw debut? We have not, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, Saxton, I do not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're just getting started here, but you must already have some idea what you'd like to accomplish here in WWE. Well, Kayla... Hey! Oh, what the... Oh! Hey! Stop it! Can we get some help in here? Let's go to break. Bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Portland, Oregon, The Rocker, Ari Elizabeth Price. Cap looks like she is itching to throw hands tonight. And she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. Cap is here, and she's ready to fight. One of the biggest things to happen to the women's division, literally. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez! Raquel seems to always wear a big smile, just loves to perform for the crowd. Yeah, but if you get on her bad side and that smile vanishes, you are faced with an angry woman with muscles for days. Look at the spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car up to it and watch a movie on it. You gotta find out what her workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton. Harder than yours. This matchup stems from a segment on the bump where Byron literally got between these two. I'm surprised you were able to make it the Raw tonight, Saxton. You got trucked by Raquel Rodriguez. I would be lying if I said I wasn't rooting a bit for Cap to get some revenge on Raquel after what she did to me. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Shoulder blocks repeatedly in the corner. I guess Kayla Braxton meant what she said. She's here to support the cap. It's not like Kayla to get involved in a match. Raquel really must have gotten under her skin. Oh, nice scoop roll up for the win. 
she gets a quick kick out there. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Wow, what a pump kick. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. Oh, stop. And Raquel looked like a tamed animal after that offense. And Raquel's resolve might be wavering here. Raquel's got to start turning the tide somehow. Places her right in the corner. Raquel interrupts the attack. Raquel gave herself a window. She has to go full throttle now. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. She steers clear of that one. And that definitely made solid impact. Solar Plexus. See ya. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Oh, straight for him. Cut off and takes a boot. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. Yikes. Striking with the axe kick. Oh! Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Pow! Oh, what a shot! Look at all these boots to the face. Here comes a big one. Ooh. She's firing up, no doubt about it. Grabs a hold of Rodriguez. Does Rodriguez have any fight left? Cover. Two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Seeing is believing. And Raquel is making a believer out of all of us right now after a kick out from the top. Double stop. Cover. There's two. Kick out. She still has life. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. And now she's climbing to the top turn. Look out. Through the air. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Thrown back in under the ropes. Able to avoid there. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. This onrush has got to be draining Rodriguez. Raquel's got to find her spot and take advantage. Watch her set up in the corner. Going to kick the features off their face. This competitor has something bad in mind for their opponent. Oh, what a kick. She can't possibly come back from that. this alliance pay off. I was impressed by them on their own, but this win together is even more impressive.
Raquel is asking for a rematch. Why? Kayla may have come out and distracted Raquel, but I beat her fair. Nevertheless, WWE management has decided to grant Raquel's request. Don't worry, we know what we're doing. And since you are both apparently so hungry for press, it'll be WWE's first ever microphone match. Huh? Brilliant, I know. No disqualifications, but the only weapons you'll have access to are WWE microphones. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> mics can't really hurt anyone. Uh, can we at least use the mics to cut promos during the match? Maybe. Whose idea even was this? I can tell by your misplaced mockery that you have never had a microphone thrown at you. I'll have you know that they can actually hurt a lot. So whoever thought of this match was really smart. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? It'll be... An instant classic. Welcome to the generation of Jade. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The phone is a microphone match. Making her way to the ring from Portland, Oregon, the rocker, Ari Elizabeth Price. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now, I think everyone can see. A natural leader who's earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. The captain is ready to call the shots. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez! Raquel already has plenty of championship gold to her name. NXT Women's Champion, multiple tag titles, it's hard to imagine anything getting in her way. Raquel has more muscles in her back alone than Saxton does in his whole body. Excuse me? I mean, is he wrong? I just worked out. For the first time ever in WWE, we are having a microphone match. Enough amplifying sound. Tonight, these mics will amplify pow. That was more force than this stipulation, Saxton. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. She's got her microphone, and she is looking to amplify every hit she's about to deliver. Oh, a step up in Zagari. She saw it coming. Oh. oh, my goodness. Now she's just having her way with Raquel. Raquel is certainly being tested here. 
With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Ooh, she just turned it around. And now thrown back into the ring. Boom! Raquel said, really? What now? Oh, yikes! A stomp to the guts! Oof! Kick finds it. Oh! Unloading a big kick to the back! Ooh, right to the arm! Oh, God! She's just getting worked over right now. Yeah, she's having issues fighting back. Rodrigo shows the wear with him. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. Oh, and that buys some... Raquel Rodriguez, so powerful, so big, so strong, taking her opponent down. Oh, strikes with the... Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Back and forth from these competitors. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Ah, stand there. Picking up speed. Penalty kick. Ooh. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Strikes with a kick. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. This competitor has something bad in mind for their opponent. What a boot. That could finish off Raquel. Try to end it. It wasn't enough. She kicked out. Seeing is believing. And Raquel is making a believer out of all of us right now after a kick out like that. Big maneuver, executed perfectly, but still was not enough. And another counter. What a sidewalk slam. Rodriguez feeding off the crowd, feeding off their energy. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. The gory special. Oh, my goodness. Critical point. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Getting set up for something in the corner. <laughs> Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. Guys, I was afraid it was going to get to this point. I was hoping it would. Oh no! It's a bad superplex! Shoulders down! And she fights it off. She just won't stay down. Reversal from Raquel. this outside. This could be good. I don't think they're about to make a speech. Able to reverse that one. She scores big with the head comes. Oh, a kicking combination. Now that is an exclamation point. Raquel Rodriguez goes down with the loss. But if there's anyone in the women's division who knows how to handle a setback, it's Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, luck hasn't historically been on her side, but Raquel always makes the best out of a bad situation.